Hi guys, I'm back with a ring reveal from Jewelscent. This is their Black Widow Lux Candle from their Halloween collection. I think they're calling it their Spooked Collection. As always, the ring's right on top, so I've only been burning this a few hours. And they never glue it down, so it's very easy to remove. So I ordered a few of their Halloween products. This one has a bunch of fragrance notes listed. Uh, musk, cinnamon, amber, uh, violet I think is one of them. Overall, it's a pretty masculine smelling candle. And I was a little surprised. It actually isn't as fragrant as their candles and products usually are. I'm already feeling this and it feels like a huge ring. I hope it's not that one I've gotten a few times, but we'll see here in a second. Um, since it's a luxe candle, it is bigger than the other ones and you do get a ring at least $40. So that's the minimum. My birth stone. I wish someone would make a like funny video of every time I've gotten my birth stone. I feel like it's a personal like running joke on my channel because I don't like my birthstone. It's the only stone that I don't think is pretty. I like other shades of green, like Peridot. I just don't like the emerald color. And I know I'm not alone on that. I know a lot of people do not like the emerald. Um, however, this is a unique looking ring. Kind of comes together in the middle. And the code is PP36. I think that's a flat $40 code, but I will double check that. It's super sparkly, kind of reminds me of Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and check out that code and I'll be right back. So the ring did appraise for $40, which again is the minimum you would receive in a Lux candle. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I don't really like it. It's even if it was a different color, it's kind of weird, kind of out there, kind of bulky, not really my style, but that is what I got. And I did order a couple more of their Halloween products. I'll show them real quick. I haven't used them yet. This is new, this is bubble bath powder, and this is witch's brew. It's a pretty big solid glass container. I'm definitely gonna reuse that bottle. And then I got two bath bombs. I haven't opened them yet, but the Black Widow should be solid black, and the Jack-o'-lantern should be solid orange. They, I guess I could peek in here. I don't think there's like a face printed on this. They did release a bunch of Halloween products, and they do this cool thing every once in a while. Currently, ooh, that smells good. And I noticed they started shrink racking it in that tight plastic like Fragrance Jewels does. They used to not do that. They would just place it in here. Oh, I hate that. It's so hard to get off, I think, without damaging a bath bomb. But they do this cool thing where... I think they always do it for Halloween. But they do it possibly other times throughout the year. Where if you purchase these products, you could get a little ticket in with your order. And you could win free credit. So like $50, $100. And I know a lot of people get them. Because I'm on you know the Facebook pages and whatnot. And I see them. See real pictures from real people. So that's what I like about Jewel Scent. Like you actually win stuff with this company. And it's known. And it's not like these fake looking videos that some of these other companies post on YouTube. Um, they're real people. So if you guys are interested in Jewel Scent, I'll leave their link below and a link with some promo codes. I think I have one or two that are active. So I'll put all that in the description box below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.